Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kalki Subramaniam. Thank you for this opportunity, first of all, and this wonderful platform. Everyone has a dream. Everyone wants to do something, wants to go for and prove their identity. But not everyone actually attains that. It takes a lot of energy and bigger dreams. I'm a transgender person, <clears throat> and I'm proud of it, I should say. <clears throat> every child has a dream. Every teenager, every person in this world has a dream. When I was a kid, I was a teenager, I was a little boy who was really confused about who he is going to be, while the rest of the world, the rest of my students, my colleagues, were all concerned about their future, who wanted to be an engineer, a doctor, an actor, a businesswoman, a businessman, and all that. I was the one who was searching for myself. Who am I, was my question. And that was my confusion when everyone, I was born as a boy, but I was not. I was really not. While, uh, while the rest of my colleagues, my students, were all thinking about what they will achieve in their life, I was thinking about what I'm going to be. Who am I, was my question. And a transgender person in our country or around the world goes through a lot of ordeals, a lot of difficulties, a lot of obstacles, a, hor a very horrible life. And definitely, I've gone through all that. I didn't have a wonderful, beautiful childhood. When I look back at my life, it was very difficult. It was not very sweet. But one thing made me moving. One thing really got me into the force and made me push. And that was the truth. I believed in myself. I believed in myself. I know I was right and the world was wrong. So I wanted to change that. And that takes a lot of energy, lots of courage. I really didn't have family support. Even though they loved me, I didn't have the support. I didn't have a counselor. There was nobody to support me, nobody to give me counseling and all that. Yet I had to finish schooling. I had to finish my college. I had to endure all the pain. It was. It was really horrible, but I learned. I learned the art of survival. I learned to do so many things in my life. I'd like to tell a little story also. <clears throat> it's a true story. It happened in my life. When I was a teenager, Mrs. Maniratnam was my favorite, favorite actress, Suhasini Maniratnam. And I wanted to be a journalist one day and interview her me as a journalist and she as an actress. And then I remembered that dream. I, f I just went on, life went on and on. And I was struggling, I was just rowing my boat. My journey was never stopping because I believed in myself. And then I transitioned into, with much difficulty, without much support. I worked hard, I earned money, I changed myself physically, medically. And then I earned money. I started a life of my own. I did some good work for people like me, started my Sahodri Foundation. And then one day I got this film opportunity to act as a heroine in a film called Nartaki. A very beautiful film you shouldn't miss. Nartaki, the dancer, it's a Tamil film, it's an art film. And then one day after this film shoot is over, I get a call from my director. She said, we are having an interview in a very prominent channel on a film show. So I was waiting. I was so enthusiastic. I went to this TV channel. I was sitting there at the set, and there was this lady who was coming to interview me. And I was the actress at that moment. Even though I acted in just one film, I did it very well. And uh, I was the actress at that moment. And then this lady comes to interview me. She is Mrs. Maniratnam, so Hasni Maniratnam. 
So I was the actress and she was the journalist. Once upon a time I wanted to interview her. I wanted to be the journalist and I wanted to interview her. Life turned so fast. I became the actress and she was the journalist there. That little boy became a woman and if that happens to me and if I can do it, everybody can do it. No matter what is your gender, no matter what is your caste, no matter what is your religion, no matter what, no matter what is your color, your skin color, no matter if you have money or not, if you dream and if you believe in yourself, anything is possible, definitely. And my life is a proof of it, a very big proof of it. I'm a proof of it. It's, it's just that you have to believe in yourself and always, always remember what you think is what you are. There are several ways to a, solutions to a problem, several solutions to a problem. It, you just have to find the right thing. You just have to find your way. That's it. And definitely, think positive. Love everyone. Be compassionate. That's the most important quality. Attaining your dream, daring, and doing may be difficult, but it's not, it's not an impossible thing to do. But upon all that struggle, upon all that way that you go and reach your goal, you should, you should never lose that human touch. You should always consider people with your heart. Never, ever lose your compassion and your human qualities for money, for power, or anything. Your inner happiness is your ultimate treasure. Don't lose it. And that comes only with pure compassion, love, kindness, and a care for others, and definitely caring for yourself. Thank you very much.